They're known as the Viking from uh, Sarama. Uh, explain us what is potato bower. You use it a lot in your social media. Well, it's like um, basically potatoes are potato and Estonia is like equal thing, I would say, and also Baltic. So actually, this uh, thing started with Tom Squins. I don't know, was it him who invented that or uh, some some of his fans or something? But after uh, all the guys from Baltic started to do that, and it's also a bit rumor that uh, everybody thinks the people in politics and uh, Finland we eat only potatoes, so it's uh, it's a good jokes. But actually, yeah, we we love them, and uh, there is a lot of scientific scientific uh, stuff now that uh, actually potatoes are are better than pasta or rice. So maybe that's our weapon. Do you eat only potatoes then? No, no, no. You have to mix everything. Okay. You will be riding in a World Tour team this year. Uh, then uh, your team stepped up to the World Tour level. This is a big step in your career too. Uh, do, you, do you feel some change in the team that it stepped up? Uh, actually, at the moment it's not so big change. I would say, okay, there is more uh, staff members, but still uh, beginning of season it's quite same pattern like previous years so there is nothing like uh, so big difference but yeah there is more stuff people that it means also they take there are more more people who takes care of you and maybe it's more structured so but we'll, we will see in the in the season how it's how it's going you've had 12 uh, professional wins uh, now you're in one level how many wins do you want to get this year it depends the races I race, but uh, and also if there is a one big one, then uh, then one is enough, you know. But uh, actually, yes, yeah, st still three, three, five will be nice to have in the in the resume. But it it means which ones. This year, you also have a fellow Estonian in your team. Is it good for morale to have uh, another countryman in your team? You, you can talk with the Estonian uh, uh, with him, or doesn't matter who is your teammates. I think if you have good teammates then it doesn't matter but for sure it's good to have somebody who is uh, almost uh, from the same place like you then it's uh, it's advantage and yeah maybe the crucial moments in the race for for example with Norman in the lead out it's easier to say some Estonian words than uh, start to think in English but I, I say it's a positive thing for sure. You spend pretty much whole your season in Girona or in races. Do you feel some homesick? Not really because nowadays there's internet, there's phones, it's it's quite easy so there is a not so big problem like in the nineties so I feel good in Girona so it's like my it's like my home. Do you know your calendar already? What is the first race and what is what is your big goal this year and are you gonna do a grand tour? Yeah, I'm going to start season end of January in, uh, in Australia, do one day races and then Herald Sun Tour and after I'm staying there a bit and then going straight to Hainan in China. But uh, yeah, I'm doing some big classics like uh, at the moment I'm list for Flanders, Roubaix and Kent Fevelgem and those things. And for sure I want to perform well in there but also I admit it's worth two races and there is we have uh, many good guys who can make results in there. But you never know. And Grand Tour wise, I picked uh, Vuelta for me, so I'm on the list, and that's my goal for sure. Okay, super. Best of luck for you in the season. Thank you. My head is heavy, let me.